This is going to be less of a review and more of a top five because I know everybody that reviews anything is reviewing Jessica Jones. Uh, I'm just going to go straight up and say, nah. Hey guys, it's G from The F Word, and I'm going to do my top five things that I didn't really care for in Jessica Jones Season 2. Bit of backstory, I love Jessica Jones Season 1. I really liked it. I liked Kristen Ritter playing Jessica Jones. I loved Kilgrave, and I'm a huge David Tennant fan in general, so I really, really like Kilgrave. And all the other characters that were in there, Patsy, Malcolm, Jerry, and all of them, they were handled well in Season 1. They were there for when they needed to be. You really brought out Jessica Jones as a character a lot more. And so there was a lot of really cool stuff in Jessica Jones Season 1. If I was going to put it on a rating scale, I would probably put it number 2. Because I, Daredevil Season 1 is my favorite. Daredevil Season 2, I like the first half. And I would say Jessica Jones and going into Luke Cage. And then the second half, Daredevil Season 2, blah, blah, blah. But I do have some issues with Season 2 of Jessica Jones. And I'm going to get into it right now. And this is in no particular order, this is just kind of random. Number five, shorten the damn seasons. Everybody's asking for it. It doesn't seem like the people that are creating this have enough stuff to put forth for 13 episodes. This could have been, like we're all saying, eight episodes, seven episodes, and you would have had a really clear story because it did feel very unfocused. It felt like they had a few different things going on and the way they pieced it together, it was bits and pieces from three different seasons that they decided to put into one. Number four, the Jerry storyline. I felt that they dove really into her character a little bit more. The stuff with her law office, unnecessary to the story, in my opinion. It put focus on it to her. And the only thing it did was bring Malcolm into the fold on a, from a different level. But it also introduced that competing brand that she was using in the beginning. With the tattoo dude that apparently wants to just piss off a superhero because that's part of the story. So there's a lot of that stuff revolving around Jerry that I felt was unnecessary. I understand showing Fallout from season one, but they focused a lot on her on a lot of episodes and I personally did not care for it. Number three, why didn't they start off with the mom storyline? They introduced her mom halfway through, which is really when everybody that I've seen is saying that that's when it really got interesting. Uh, her mom, having taken the same kind of serum or stuff that Jessica has, it gives her superpowers, but she's also manical and crazy and stuff. And the doctor that did that to her, I understand from the perspective of let's introduce Jessica as how she is after the Defenders and then bring it in. But it happened way too late to the point where it's like, well, this is just random. If they would have done it in episode two or even episode three if they decided to go to 13 episodes like they did, then you can have a really interesting story as they shown in this with her and her mom because I personally liked that part. I liked it a lot. They had a really good dynamic. They had good chemistry. And I just they just put it too late. Which goes to number two. Why did they not have Kilgrave in this the whole time. They brought him in in like the last two or three episodes. I don't remember. I watched it like a week ago, but then I was out of town and stuff like that. So I'm trying to remember this stuff as it goes. It was so good. When he popped in, I got excited. And that was seemed like the third of, or fourth storyline that they decided to shove in there in a very minor part. What this should have been, I think, is having Kilgrave in and out throughout the entirety of the season from episode one. She thinks he's gone. She was distracted with the defenders, comes back. Nope, he's right there in her head, which was the most brilliant thing about the Kilgrave character and how they tied it into season one. That was just was some of the most interesting stuff because you could be the most powerful person in the world, but a guy like Kilgrave is going to test you very, very much like a, a Joker kind of thing. And so they should have just had it on the whole time. It it would have pushed Jessica as a character so much more to have them there showing up to being in her ear and saying, you're just like me. I know I like I own you still and her trying to get away from that while dealing with the stuff with her mom and everything else going on. I, that just seems like a huge missed opportunity. And number one, less Patsy. I know she's her friend. They love each other. They're sisters. They're somewhat setting up the Hellcat storyline. If you don't know what it is, Patsy Walker is Hellcat in the Marvel Universe. They could have done it in a much more subtle way that would have been a lot more interesting. I was so annoyed with her character on so many levels. Up until the very last bit where 
Somehow, while the mom and daughter are, have been driving for quite a bit, she gets out of the hospital bed and shows up at the amusement park. Perfect place. The only place apparently in the world that she could have been because Patsy knew this. Just so she can shove into Jessica's life in another way. Didn't like it. Didn't care for it. Um, they really made her a character that I disliked. And I liked her in the first season. And again, I understand what they were going through it. And if you liked it, that is totally great. But for me, I needed less Patsy. So that's my top five things that I wish they would have done different in Jessica Jones season two. And it kind of acts like a review because I'm met on it. I've got very few things that I really liked. I was a little bit disappointed because I love season one. And I don't need to tell you if you're going to see it or not. Because if you're already invested, you're going to watch it. If you're not invested at this point, you're not going to watch it. So this is for those of you who have seen it already. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with my top five? Do you have your own top five? I would love to get your thoughts on this. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? All that jazz. Let me know in the comments below. You can find me on Twitter at the F words G. You can email us at the F podcast at gmail.com and make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. And until next time, I am G and I am out. <laughs>